Hi, I'm Dr. Del Rosario. Today we will talk about hand, foot, and mouth disease. It's a very common infection that I've been seeing a lot in clinic recently due to outbreaks in daycare and at school. So let's talk about it in more detail today. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is caused by a common type of virus that causes rash on the body and sores in the mouth. Just like the name implies, the classic areas where the rash appears are on the hands and feet, particularly the palms and soles. Other common areas where the rash shows up include around the mouth, buttocks, and sometimes the arms and legs as well. The rash varies in appearance, but often looks like little red spots or fluid-filled blisters. The sores in the mouth are typically located in the back of the throat and can be quite painful. So in younger infants, this can cause decreased appetite, drooling, and general fussiness. Other associated symptoms include low-grade fevers and mild runny nose or congestion. Hand, foot, and mouth disease ranges in severity and can show up as mouth sores alone or both mouth sores and rash. If you think your child has hand, foot, and mouth disease, or if your infant is showing signs of fever and decreased appetite, your doctor will take a look at their skin and also examine the back of their throat. Seeing sores in the throat confirms the diagnosis of hand, foot, and mouth disease, and no additional tests are necessary. In terms of treatment, since hand, foot, and mouth is caused by a virus, that means no antibiotics are necessary. Remember that antibiotics only help to get rid of bacteria, not viruses. So for a viral infection like hand, foot, and mouth disease, the body's immune system will fight it off on its own, and symptoms will generally clear up within a week. Most kids recover from hand, foot, and mouth disease completely without any complications. However, in some cases, the rash can become infected with bacteria, or younger infants may get dehydrated from not drinking fluids. To prevent these complications, keep your child's skin clean and avoid scratching or picking. Also give your child Tylenol or Ibuprofen for pain since the sores make it painful to swallow or eat. Offer cold drinks and cold foods like popsicles and ice cream and stay away from anything salty, spicy or acidic which can make the pain worse. For the rash, no specific treatment is required and it will clear up on its own. But if the blisters pop or become sores, you can apply a topical antibiotic ointment to help prevent infection. Lastly, it's important to know that hand, foot, and mouth disease is quite contagious and is spread through contact with saliva, mucus or phlegm, and unwashed hands or toys. So you can imagine how outbreaks can occur in daycares or other places where a lot of kids are playing together. To help prevent the spread of hand, foot, and mouth disease, Make sure to clean any shared toys with a disinfectant since viruses and other germs can survive on these objects for up to a few days. Also keep your child home if they have a fever or open blisters in their mouth or skin and have your kids and other family members wash their hands well and often. For Pediatric Minute, I'm Dr. Del Rosario.